what's going on guys welcome to another video did you know there's a 2023 pack of wdts i don't know how old the original pack is but apparently they made a new pack in 2023 and i don't hear anybody talking about it interesting i found it it's on vosan um i will put a link in the description and we're actually going to try them out and see how they compare to the other ones apparently they have different uh physics and there's some different options we can actually look for like um tires there's wdts street tires but you can actually go up in size tires 255s 275s and 295s and then you got rain tires so 295s i don't know what car you need with 295s i think all their cars have like i think the highest horsepower one is like 420 horsepower even 295s on that would be absurd so we're gonna keep it like this we'll try 255s on this car and see i picked the sc because that was the last car i drove so i'm gonna keep the alignment the same i could change it i'll probably change it later but we'll just go how it comes out of the box for a second and i just want to see how it compares to the other one also i'm back on bhs drift playground and apparently i was doing it backwards <laughs> so we're gonna try it the other way so i have to relearn the track but um the people that actually created it commented on that video and said i'm doing it backwards so um i'm going to the pits right now i'm sorry i don't see any signs that tell me which way to go so i just um i guessed and i thought i was going the right way let me bump up the audio so i thought because that sign was up there that that was the way you're supposed to go so i don't know exactly which way you're supposed to enter the track but we're gonna go this way now Wait, what did that sign say? Did it say start? I think it did say start. Yes, it says start. It literally says start. Did the other side say finish? Now I'm curious. No, it didn't. Okay, so just look for the start sign. So let's see how this track is from this side. Also, I want to see how the 2023 pack is. So again, we are in the SC300. Oh, I'm under steering. So, so far I don't have an answer yet. Let me link a few turns. Okay, one thing I can say, it does feel like it has better grip. Oh, see, now these... <laughs> yeah, I was definitely... Well, I mean, obviously I was doing it backwards because they would know better than me. But I could actually see the... Uh, the points I'm supposed to hit make a little bit more sense now. But it does actually have more grip. And these are with the same tires, so I haven't switched to bigger tires yet. I mean, is my turbo even 100% yet? Hold on. No, it wasn't even 100% yet. Maybe that's why I have more grip. <laughs> oh, and we're back at the start again. So, all right, let's try one more lap. 100%. This definitely feels better. Yeah, this feels good. Because I'll be honest, this is a confession. I never liked these cars. I know everybody else liked these cars, and I tried to force myself to like it because everybody else likes it. I could drive them, but I wasn't a fan of them. But this feels way better. And as I say that, I hit the wall and total the car. But this does actually feel way better. So it does have a little bit more grip. I felt like these cars never really had a lot of grip. So you had to pedal them a little bit too much, in my opinion. Um, I know you can make adjustments on alignments and stuff. Again, I could still make adjustments, but just from what I'm seeing so far, this already feels better. And again, I use the same cars I did last time. Ah! I'm always hitting that. I can never tell where this car is. It's so long. And I try to put the back in against the wall and I always hit it. I'm gonna 
I had that problem when I was driving on Logitech. <laughs> yo, this car is huge, yo. Because every time I e brake, I smack the back of my car. All right, and let's exit. That's interesting. That is interesting. I have to go through the pack again and see what cars are different. I don't remember which ones are actually different, but um, I think there's an R34. Well, the other one had R34, I think. I don't know. I'm going to look, but first, let's um, switch tires because I want to see what 255s feel like versus the stock tires. I'm imagining the stock tires are maybe 245s. This feels grippy. Oh, I spun. <laughs> and I'm going to assume it's 255's front and rear. This actually feels looser. <laughs> Yeah, this feels wow the 23 pack is cool <laughs> at least this car is i mean i'm gonna, we're gonna try some other ones, but and 255 versus the stock tires i can't really tell a difference for video purposes we will try 295 <laughs> but this should not be in a situation where it needs 295s I don't even think they're running 295s in Formula D. I could be wrong. I think they have limitations on what tire size they can run. I don't remember what it is. I'm not where I'm supposed to be right now. All right, let's try 295s and then switch cars. 295s, 27 PSI, 339 horsepower. That makes sense. Let's see if I can. Oh my God, my steering is tighter. Oh yeah, I definitely got 295s in the front. I might spin him though. <laughs> They're spinning. There's, oh, they're gripped up. They are gripped up, though. Oh, my God. They have so much grip. <laughs> it's like a VDC car now. Not quite, but it's definitely gripped up. It's definitely different. It's drivable, though. Don't hit the wall. I hit uh, I hit it, but not hard enough. Okay, so that was cool. Hit this inside clipping point to the outside. All the way. Oh, I'm supposed to go inside on that one. Inside again. Woo! Spun. I spun. I spun. It's interesting. Oh, I'm way off the line now. Again. Way off the line. Well, that's pretty cool. So, so far in this car, they seem like they took what I didn't like the most out of WDTS cars and added grip. So I guess if you already liked the pack before, then I can guess you can see why you wouldn't like this pack. Because maybe some people like the super loose feeling. I always felt like it's too super loose feeling. That's just my personal preference. And I didn't really like it. Um, felt like I had to baby the car a little bit too much. And I don't know. But this feels cool. I like it. So if this is the new pack. I like the new pack. <laughs> All right, we're back on the home screen. And I'm actually looking at the old ones versus the new ones. 
they're still pretty identical <laughs> um like here's the se 300 all the specs are still the same that's the older version and then the 2023 version uh the difference in all of them is different looks you get body kits and stuff which is cool um the other ones you just change colors but this one every time you change a color it changes the wheels also and you know the rest of them just kind of just change colors so but it is some cooler stuff and like i said the grip is actually different i the grip is actually noticeably different so one of the things i noticed is the force power is pretty much the same for most of the cars uh between old and new but there is the skylines that have 420 horsepower or actually says 366 there which is the same as before okay never mind nothing's different <laughs> The only thing is different is the looks and slightly different physics. So we're going to try. Um, all right, let's see how the R32 drives. I don't think I drove the R32 before, but let's, let's see how this one drives. Turn that down a little bit. Oh, turbo's not up. There we go. Ooh, now we're spinning. Let's go the right way. Whoa. Car is noticeably looser than the other car. <laughs> I might need 295s in this thing, boy. Okay, my aim is terrible. All right, I'm getting used to it now. This car is super loose. Oh, I did that too late. A little bit of a boot slag too, so definitely have to keep the revs up. Don't hit the wall. I called it. I called to not do it, and then I did it. All right, let's try some bigger tires in this car. So loose. And again, I know I can change the alignment settings, but I don't feel like I'll change a little bit. I'll change a little bit, a little bit of negative toe and a little bit more positive toe. And tires, we're going to do 275 or two. Oh, they're different. They're different for this car. It was 255s before, two, 255, 275, 295. And now it's 245, 265, 285. So we'll try 265. So that means it's smaller than 245s right now. <laughs> okay, 265s it is. What did I put on here? 265s? Oh, see that boost lag? Every time, every time. Oh, I did not mean to. I did, but I shouldn't have yanked the e-brake right there. <laughs> that was a bad, bad time to do it. This car's fun. It's just uh, a little squirrely.
All right, one more lap. One more lap. This car is sick, though. I do like this car. And this track is much better, this angle. Because <laughs> I remember the, the beginning of the track being so weird. I was like a long straight until basically the tire wall and I could never get it. And now it makes sense that that should be the last turn, not the first turn. <laughs> so this is the way you're supposed to go. Oh, didn't hit the wall that time. Gonna hit all the clipping points on this one. Get out of the grass. No. No. That was a good lap. I ruined it. And this is the last turn, I believe. Yeah, it makes much more sense to exit that way. All right. Well, I think it's going to do it. Probably a short video, but I wanted to let you guys know there is a 2023 pack. And it does feel a little bit more gripped up. And you have the option to change tires, which is very necessary depending on the car and how your personal driving style is. But this car right now with 265s feels pretty solid. So that will definitely be the move for me. Don't hit this wall. I said, don't hit the wall. Good job. And inside clipping zone, outside clipping zone, inside clipping zone. I missed it. I think I missed it. Inside slipping zone. I stop my spun out here so I hit the grass. And the last wall. Oh, too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys will take a look into this car, especially if you like the other WDTS cars. Uh, like I said, I'm not personally not a big fan of them. But I'm a fan of these. They do feel better. They more of our driving style. So um yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using these and um pretty good to know. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Deuces. See you in the next one.